Hey what's up guys my name is Isam and you're watching everyone's story so that's a day Pokemon journey new opening have a release which has sorted a lot of hype related to upcoming episode so let's not wait a lot of time you that totally like the video and subscribe the channel and I definitely jump straight to the video so the opening starts with a PG flying through the sky and we get a sort of Chloe professor size and end up with Ash and Do. and I think it was a really nice opening start Anyway, then we saw both Ash and Do first episode scene means a frame so in the first scene when they were first introduced in the anime and to be honest in my opinion it symbolizing that this is really the end of journey. Although then we saw a variety of scenes which actually symbolize different different reasons and their Pokemon. Like this professor side lab part scene mainly containing the Tento is in Pokemon then in this scene we to see Jojo is in Pokemon. And I noticed that Suitun is also here for a macro set and maybe in future we will see him again in this series. Although then we saw this frame which is very much similar to one of the scenes of Advanced Generation. Then we saw a winter area scene where Dawn is also with Ash and Do. Most likely Dawn is going to again appear in this series. Anyway, after that we saw a Universe Reason frame with then to the Talos Forest and then to a Alora Reason frame. And by seeing as Alola Pokemons here, I think we will expect them to appear in the upcoming episode. After that, we did return to the last region showing some of Ash and Do Pokemon. Then we saw an awesome sort of Do main 3 Pokemon, which then transition changed and so as all join his team in full power. Thus, as he wearing all his damage, gathering Meta Revolution clubs and Dynamics Band. Also out here we got a very good reference of Ash turning back his hat just like in the original series opening. Anyway, then we saw all of Ash journey Pokemon showing off their power like the Dark Eaton team as Lutario Meta Evolution and Pikachu Dead Move. Anyway, then the transition changed and we saw though in a project new mission Ferris scene against the legendary Titan alongside Sudoti and Asahi. Also we saw the Larian version of these Titans. So now this project new mission things are really getting interesting to see. Then an awesome transition happened and we saw as facing Adin Leon and his Dayton team as Tider. Before the transition Adin changed and we saw both the protagonists ready to go towards their dream. After that we saw Chloe and her EV in a contest wearing a very special outfit. As if you see clearly then you will notice first that the dance step is very much similar to Serena that she do in her performance. Then looting slowly her outfit is a combination of May, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire outfit and the hairpin is exactly like Serena EV. So thus it means May and Serena are going to return also like the wallet tub theory turret. So in my opinion maybe yes. How I will give this question answer at last so wait for it. Now then we saw a beautiful frame of all EV evolution with Chloe and her EV. Since in my opinion this is the episode where Chloe will encounter Sylveon and complete meeting all EV evolution. Anyway then Prime Rotted was shown and I am happy to see more Pito with them. Now in the next scene we saw Darius with his Blaster and RT9 transforming. He will be again shown in the upcoming Polish Mew Mission episode. Then the Alola then was shown and Lily and Legend is also with them. Since in my previous video I had already told you guys that most likely we would see a small art of Lily finding her dad. Then Lisa and Wallace was also shown and we will discuss something more about it later on this video. Then we saw Iris, means Iris is again going to appear in upcoming episode. Then Pierce and Mani also here means their work had not been finished in this series and they will again be shown in this series. And after that we saw Clement and Bonnie which means soon they are going to return. So tell the fans that ready for your fan service. Anyway, then we saw Paul out here. This is a huge return after 12 years since this scene of Sino reason and I think Paul is going to be the last opponent of Ash in Hyper Class. But still it's not transformed so let's see. Now in the next scene we saw Totio. I think you guys remember him. He is a childhood fan of Do and recent Mazin Tower had already transformed that he is also a part of Project Mew Mission. Anyway, now the next scene with Brave the Pokemon Internet is as the ninja return since some of you were saying how we know it as the ninja so they had already confirmed it that it's as statue the ninja and he is returning in this Pokemon journey however it not confirmed that does he return for an episode or he is returning to join as team for the master class since i'm really praying that his return is for a permanent basis but it's not confirmed so let's wait and see 
Then we saw an amazing battle scene of Lian, which that continued with Ash and Lian battling with each other. Before the opening ended, with Ash and the adorable scene with their Pokemon, and moving forward to their adventure. So wow, it was an amazing opening that we had ever seen in the Pokemon history. So many return and upcoming awesome event that transform and I can't wait to see it all. Since actually this opening only getting started, I mean from it that yesterday they had officially revealed that in the upcoming few weeks they will again update this opening with some more new scenes. So you can expect that soon some more old character return and upcoming detail are going to be revealed with the updation of the opening. Plus it really seems that we are going to see a massive contest in this shape like the wall stuff and maybe this all May, Serena and Dawn is going to participate on it and we are going to see a very beautiful contest. So tight your seal at this year Pokemon journey is going to create a tremendous hype in the heart of Pokemon fans. Anyway let me know in the comment section below about your thoughts and ideas about upcoming events. Also be sure to subscribe this channel and hit the bell and you get more celebrative videos in future. Now it's last always you guys can follow me on my social media handles like Instagram, Twitter and my Facebook page. Thanks for watching.